Hi, I'm Natalie, golf fitness trainer from Justin Rose Academy. And today we're gonna to talk about the importance of a good warm up, especially in these winter months. And we're gonna use the top tracer here to show how important golf exercises can really influence your game to prevent injury and enhance performance out on the course. So here's my first shot on no warm up at all. So let's take a look at the warm-up exercises you can do right here on the range. Three exercises hitting full body, making sure we get some blood flow, joints and muscles mobilized, ready for winter. So the first one, windmills, really easy. All we're gonna do is take a normal golf posture, nice wide arms, and we're gonna try and reach one hand to the opposite toe. So it goes like this, all the way down, left hand side, right hand side, and we're just gonna rep out here for about 20 reps. Just getting the lower back moving, shoulders, hips, nice and mobile, perfect for driver. So exercise number two, we're gonna go more into the hips and the lower body. So this time we're gonna split the stand that's challenging the balance a little bit as well. So I'll show you from the, the front, first of all. If we split the stance and come on to the tiptoes at the back here, all I'm looking for is a little bit of rotation going towards my toe. So I'm gonna reach across and down towards the foot, pushing my hip backwards here into a position we get in at setup, and then all the way up tall. Just nice and smooth. Easy again, feeling the glute, feeling the hamstrings starting to mobilize a little bit, bringing some rotation in because that is the key thing as a golfer. If we're moving on to the side, you can see the positions here of the hips. So I start up tall, reaching across towards the toe and all the way up, nice and smooth. Again, if you've got your club, you can use a club here if you wanna go down and twist a little bit with this as well. About 10 to 15 reps on each leg. So exercise number three, we want an iron. I'm using six iron here, so you can use any club, preferably a longer iron, gives you a little bit more turn. And again, we're gonna go back to that split stance position, but this time bringing in a bit more rotation. So onto the tiptoes here again, back foot, nice, strong, stable front leg, diagonal with the club. And all we're gonna do is chop down. I'm gonna rotate all the way up high. And this time we're getting into the follow through position a little bit more. So loads of width, loads of rotation. Again, getting the spine and rib cage moving, setting you up for driver, for irons, and making sure that we prevent injury and you can hit the ball much further. Okay, so warm up is complete. It's time to get into practice. That is what we're here for after all. So I'm gonna start nice and steady. We're going right into the wedges, 54 degree here. We're gonna start with really slow, smooth swings, little bit chipping, little bit pitching, just easing your body into this practice session. So nice and easy, few little pitch shots. Just again, getting that body moving, feeling the rotation that you've just used from those exercises and just clip a few away. Get yourself into the movement and into the rhythm. Maybe work your way through four or five balls pitching, then moving up into a pitching wedge, nine iron, just nice and easy. Before we get into the main technical work, when you get into the longer irons and into the woods. And I think it's really important to just highlight that the exercises are here for a reason, they're part of practice. So just spending five minutes at the start of every session, focusing in on getting your body prepped in terms of how you can really maximize and make the most of your practice this winter. It's colder, so we gotta make sure our bodies are ready. We want to prevent injury and we wanna come into next season playing our best golf. So take the time out just to work on those three exercises and then come into your practice session, building up through the clubs, slow swings to start with, smooth pitching, into the technical side of things, then getting into the woods and driver. So now I've done my warm up and work through the bag here. Let's see if I can hit my driver further than that very first shot. So this is my first shot on no warm up at all. Okay, 
Okay, so there we have it. I've worked through the bag. I've done my warm up. I've gone through my wedges. I've hit some iron shots and then I've just finished on driver. And as we can see on top tracer, I've just smashed my first drive by 34 yards. So the first drive at 217 and this final drive here at 251. And that just highlights how important a good warm up is, particularly in the weather now where it's a little bit colder and a bit damper in the air and the ball's just not traveling as far. So make sure you take the time just to do that five minute warm up. That's all it took me out here on the mat, no equipment, really easy. And then you'll have in your drives flying further than ever before.